Ukrainian test of the Patriot surface-to-air missile system. In modern warfare, it's impossible to win without air superiority, or at least a reliable air defense system. Otherwise, the enemy will destroy your military defenses, warehouses, and bridges, and destroy your army with near impunity. The Russian-Ukrainian war demonstrates this. Ukraine, lacking a reliable air defense, suffers heavy losses both at the front and on the home front. Every day, there are reports that Russian missiles or aircraft are destroying weapons and fuel depots, strongholds and command posts, and accumulations of manpower. But now the entire civilized world has finally heard the good news. The U.S. will provide the Ukrainian military with Patriot surface-to-air missile systems. In this video, we'll acquaint our viewers with these weapons and try to understand how effective they'll be on the Russian-Ukrainian front. This, without any exaggeration, famous anti-aircraft missile system entered service in the United States in 1982. By the way, the naming of the complex Patriot is composed of the first letters of the phrase Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target. At the moment, the Patriot Pack 3 an improved version of the system, is in operation and supplied to other countries. We hope that this modification will be supplied to Ukraine. However, the Patriot Pack 2 is also a good system for protection against weapons that Russia uses in Ukraine. The minimum unit to use the Patriot is an anti-aircraft battery. It includes four to eight launchers on a trailer with four missiles each. A multifunction AN MPQ-65 phased array radar, an interaction control station, an antenna mass group, and a power plant. The cost of one anti-aircraft battery with four launchers, 32 Pac-3 missiles, and 24 Pac-3 advanced guided missiles is $1 billion. The missile system is solid propellant, 17 and a half feet long and 1.3 feet in diameter. The weight is 2,010 pounds, of which 200 feet is a high-explosive fragmentation warhead. The missile is shipped from the factory in a rectangular aluminum shipping and launch container. The total weight of the missile within the container is 3,740 pounds. By the way, for the characteristic appearance of the launcher complex, informally called dumpster on hydraulics. The Patriot has a very original targeting system. First, the missile flies according to the program. Then, the radio command control is switched on. At the last, most important stage, the track via missile algorithm is used. The point of this algorithm is not only the radar station receives the signal reflected from the target, but also the guidance system of the missile. It processes this signal and sends information to the command post via a high-frequency channel. This information, figuratively speaking, is how the missile itself sees the target. The anti-aircraft computer analyzes the information from the locator in the missile and uses it to calculate the optimal missile trajectory and issues commands for it to fly in this direction. This improves the accuracy of targeting. The radar itself can detect a fighter 130 kilometers away and a missile 100 kilometers away. It can track 125 targets at once and aim six missiles simultaneously. The maximum strike range is 24 kilometers and the minimum is 60 meters. During the 40 years of its history, the Patriot system has been involved in combat operations quite a few times. First, in 1991, there was the Gulf War, where the system repelled Iraqi missile strikes against Saudi Arabia and Israel. On December 9, 1991, an inside Army fact sheet authored by General Robert Drolet stated that more than 80% of the successful attempts were over Saudi Arabia and more than 50% of the successful attempts were over Israel. The Iraqis had launched a total of 81 operational tactical missiles. True, the critics claimed that the actual success rate of intercepts was 33% in Israel and 25% in Saudi Arabia. After the Gulf Wars, the software, guidance system, and fuse were improved. As a result, in the 2003 war with Iraq, the Patriot, which was protecting coalition troop headquarters at Camp Doha in Kuwait, performed its mission brilliantly. All nine launched Iraqi missiles were shot down. But it should be noted that these were very old Soviet R-17 missiles, or in NATO terminology, SS-1C Scud B. They could not maneuver and were over 36 feet long, and their warheads were not separable. So it was a pretty easy target. Then there was the civil war in Syria. The Patriot was rarely used. 
Between 2014 and 2018, it was able to shoot down two Syrian aircraft, 100% successful attempts, and two drones, two successful intercepts out of three. But then the image of this American weapon was dealt a severe blow. On September 14, 2014, Hussein rebels from Yemen launched a successful drone strike against the Saudi Arabian National Oil Company's Saudi Aramco refinery, which was protected by several Patriot anti-aircraft batteries. Because of this, Saudi Arabia's oil production was more than halved for some time, from 9.8 million barrels to 4.1 million barrels. The price of black gold on the Mayo world markets has jumped dramatically. The most unpleasant thing is that Patriots did not even detect the attacking drones and they had to fly at least 800 kilometers. True, many experts argue that the strike was launched from Iraq by Iranian cruise missiles. We'll not consider in detail the political background of this version. Iran, the ill-omened enemy of Saudi, strikes from the territory of the country, which is controlled by the USA, and American Patriots are powerless. Let's just say that in this case too, the Patriot doesn't look very good. A cruise missile is not a drone, its dimensions are much larger, but almost three years have passed since then, and American developers did not sit idly by. Changes have been made to the software and guidance system, so next time nobody will be able to pull such a trick. Now the Patriot will have to stand against modern Russian weapons, caliber cruise missiles, Onyx supersonic missiles, or SSC-5 Stooge according to NATO classification, SU-35 and SU-30 fighters, and SU-25 ground attack aircraft. If we talk about the aircraft, the Patriot will undoubtedly be able to cope with it. These aircraft do not have stealth technology and are visible on radar. True, there was information that the Russians in Ukraine began to use their fifth-generation stealth fighter SU-57 but Russia has only three of them, and they hardly want to risk entering the Patriot kill zone with them. The situation with missiles is as follows. Caliber is a subsonic missile, and the Ukrainian air defense, or rather its remnants, were able to destroy it several times. We are sure that the Patriots can also cope with them, but it's more difficult with the Onyx. The speed of this missile is over 1,865 miles per hour, or about 0.53 kilometers a second but this is still less than 1.12 miles per second, the maximum target velocity for a U.S. anti-aircraft system, so we're sure the Patriot will soon add to its achievements. As we can see, there's practically no doubt in the technical perfection of the Patriot, but the application of this complex in Ukraine has some other difficulties. Firstly, how many Patriots will be supplied to the Ukrainian military? Ukraine is a big country, almost 232,000 square miles. This is the biggest country in Europe by area. To cover its sky reliably, we need at least six to eight anti-aircraft batteries. That is, accordingly, six to eight billion dollars. The U.S. has allocated $40 billion to Ukraine, but it needs not only anti-aircraft missile systems, but also tanks, howitzers, shells, and much more. It needs to feed its population. After all, because of the Russian invasion, it's become like this. Secondly, who will operate this complex anti-aircraft missile system? According to experts, it takes at least six months to master it, but Ukraine does not have that time. How to solve this problem? The only solution is to hire foreign specialists. We're sure that all the difficulties connected with the delivery of Patriot to Ukraine will be solved, and the country will get a reliable shield that'll help it defend its independence. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like it so that it can be seen by as many viewers as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We promise many more interesting videos about weapons.